Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are beating the entire game with only two soldiers and two soldiers only. So after losing uh, the last VIP mission, uh, it's time to bounce back. Uh, this is our rescue mission, where we are hopefully beating uh, the enemies quite uh, profoundly. Um, I immediately started it off. Uh, Mitchell and Hawkbite are the two um, uh, that are on this uh, mission. Uh, let's remind ourselves uh, this uh, mission uh, was uh, to figure out, I think, the uh, hideout location of the Warlock. And it's, as always, the same standard with uh, uh, missions around the Lost. Um, we are positioning ourselves in a nice cozy little position here overwatching and overwatching plus blade storm so the difficult part is this first drop once uh, we are done with it the rest should be easier but thanks to hawkbite and his blade storm ability this first drop should actually end in a massacre yeah, you dropped on the wrong guy's um, position. There we go. One down, two down, the third one just shit his pants and almost down as well. Good lord. Stinks to be them. It's good to not be them. So, let us move in deeper. Nice little extra focus. Got the momentum, we're going into a parry spree. And this is probably going to be a fast mission. So, time for the loss to appear. They usually appear around here. Good copy. Moving, on target. Moving over. Moving over. It's going to be a bit faster played than usual because uh, these missions are all following the same uh, concept. So, I pretty much already know what's going on. Give and take. So there's the Lost Swarm. Come on. That is not good. Now, okay, killed one of them. Mitch will get a couple of extra kills here. Down. One down. Two down. Three down. Four down. And we are continuing to move in. Usually the first enemy spawns around here. We've already seen that there are going to be three enemies in the entire mission. Also, we don't need to hurry. There's no timer on this mission, so might as well reload and end the turn. There we go. First enemy approaches. That's a codex. We can take the high ground here because the Codex is not going to shoot. Its first ability is going to be a Psionic Bomb if it gets to the first ability. But thanks to blue screen rounds and high ground, 
This here is an easy kill for us. Still looking to get some more focus so we can summon the ghost. There's the next swarm, quite near. But it's moving in. Phil is following him. Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch. And they should spawn. Alright, we see that the next codex is right at the exit, which means we're looking at one more enemy besides that codex. Understood. Moving out. Phil is moving up. And that's one down. Two down. Three down. And good old reload. Alright, there is the last enemy. We can't fully reach it, so what we're going to do instead is we are going to rent, kill this guy, and stay in the open, plus parry. The reason why we are doing this is Perry will dodge any of his shots. This guy is going. Uh, the lost is going to die due to um, due to blade storm. There we go. By the way, perfect timing to summon the ghost. Moving up close. Getting rid of his shield. There we go. Almost got completely rid of his shield. Summoning the ghost to ending uh, to end our turn. We do have blade storm still. Ghost is ready. Let's position ourselves directly in front of him. Shield removed. We're going to parry. And let's move up. The shield bearer is going to die due to two um, instances of Blade Storm. There we go. One hit, two hits down. Got a superior scope, which is very, very good. Triggering the last codex. Or not. Okay. Right. We're not over -stre uh, st uh, stretching it. I promised you a clean and fast run. Yep, even though we now trigger it, there's not going to be anything that uh, he can do in order prevent, uh, to prevent us from leaving. I promised you a clean and fast run where we were not XP farming. And uh, no mistakes were made this time. Flawless mission. Operation Night Slap.
was a slap in the face of uh, the aliens. Nice little extra ambush mission, 15 kills. Pretty straightforward, I love it. I'm still a bit miffed that I messed up with the last mission. Losing a VIP mission always stings, but losing it due to stupidity stings even more. But I guess uh, that's the kind of fair evening it up, because the VIP mission beforehand, we were lucky, and, and just due to luck, uh, we dodged a grenade. So we probably should have lost that one as well. Dodge plus 10. Uh, Hogbite is going to be a maniac. I love it. I love it. So to correct myself, it was not uh, the plus uh, the th uh, the third part of Into the Fire. That did not happen yet. I remember though that there was another plus seven dodge mission. There we go. And uh, before we do that, uh, let's check about his dodge. So Hogbite sits at 22 dodge. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we need more though. So when uh, fully charged with focus, we are looking at 50% dodge. But we can do much, much better than that. So let's follow our core idea of maximizing dodge on Hogbite. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. We don't want um, anyone being wounded. We need supplies. So let's shortly visit the black market. Selling from our inventory. I think that should be fine. A couple of corpses from the priests. Good enough. By the way, we wanted to double check uh, whether or not we can purchase something anyways. Uh, I like the superior stock. I like the superior perception and the superior speed. Both of them are good. So the perception is good. The speed isn't bad either. Since we have so much intel, might as well buy it. Because I'm not yet 100% sure how we want to set up the teams at the very end. So that's okay. Now, back to the original question with the Resistance Ring missions. Uh, covered Ops mission will be this time a manufactured weapon upgrade, dodge plus seven on Hogbite, no wounding, and an additional soldier with him will be Cyber, just because. going to be out for 10 days which means we're probably going to do the um, Avenger defense mission without him yeah that stinks but the plus 7 dodge are too good to just pass them by in fact, they are really, really good. So let's continue making contact. We're going to be okay with the defense mission because we now have defense matrix. So we do have full four fully loaded towers that will be uh, that will be helping us uh, to uh, to defend the Avenger. Nice little tail and rounds. That's good. And we are looking at 
three interesting options. Low profile, only sergeant or lower, that's usually bad, we don't want that to happen, and I don't mind this dark event. Second dark event is a hidden dark event, protect the device is usually difficult for us. Mm. And uh, this one here would be bad. Recover an item from an advent facility. I need to think about it. I need to think about it. Uh, we're first going to finish this here. Yes. The reason why we are doing that is not only uh, the the bonus money, but also the continent bonus, uh, which we now can effectively get. So I'm torn between the East US mission where we're looking at the gatekeeper and the heavy mech. That would be nice because Intel suggests a large number of Advent troopers present under Advent only leadership. So no biological, just pretty much the typical Advent only stuff. But protecting the device is it's pretty difficult. Mm. Anyways, I'll make up my mind and we are going to see each other in the next mission. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment and a like. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.